Hello, and welcome back. So we're up to Act Four. Wonder how many acts there are. You know, usually a play only has three. But yeah, so our big highlights are Paul Serene is now wedded. Martin. Oh, jeez, I keep getting his fucking name. Martin Hatch is against him. But, I mean, Martin Hatch also destroyed the lab with all his treatments. So we're not really sure if Paul Serene can be saved. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Emma. That made you priority one. Yeah. They made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. I mean, to be fair, we did save our life. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I mean, because if it wasn't for um, us, then really, she'd have been killed by Hatch when he sent that drone in to crash. Gotta get to higher ground. <laughs> it's slightly frustrating that even though, you know, the email was read, revealing right all this stuff, it's a lot of monarch. I don't know. that maybe Jack isn't aware of it. Well, maybe. Ooh, what's this? Let me know. Pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's <clears> right in <throat> my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. I don't understand why he can't just climb that bit normally. <laughs> Better get inside before the chopper spots me. What chopper? Why oh, to get to high ground? Ooh, here we go. Now we've got the art piece. Paul. What the actual fuck? I guess that's him dying from his Cronon syndrome. Like time seems to be slowly draining from him. Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. Did I really need a roll? <coughs> oh, that's seven. Also, apologies for the grunting sound. I I get catch I get yeah, a catch in my throat or a tickle in my throat or something. It's down to hay fever. On Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. They're finally on to Wilder. It should not have taken them this long. She's tricked them before. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. Alright. Wait for a star and run. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. I'm pretty exposed though. Sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? Where's the fire pole? For those of you just tuning in, the manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce, the suspect in last night's universe. I think this might have been what was hinted at in the first junction. Because there's like this bit where it's like saying, hey, what's that grottling under there? 
I think that's Jack Joyce. Meanwhile, if I chose the other option, then there would have been a clash with Monarch and people, because people obviously would not be too thrilled that a private company has just gone and killed their loved ones. You know, I mean, companies aren't that powerful that they can do it publicly. They've got to be sneaky. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're helping the police looking for a terrorist. Uh, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who blew up the library? Um, Shane Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Well, I mean, there's a sports car parked in the streets back there. It's kind of wrecked. It's a little unusual. Please, show me what. Right now. Oh, damn it. Better hurry. Yeah! Oh, wait. What the? Why was everything moving? wear a disguise like I mean I'm not talking like you know mask and everything but even just like a different outfit I mean he's always in this outfit it's gonna be kind of one of the first things they look for wouldn't it oh huh, I was right that is the bit the junction hinted at Oh crap, that guy's moving. These are so pretty like that. He's frozen. Wait, who's shooting me? How freaking dare you? Oh, damn, he's still moving. Down, down, down. Wait, someone behind me. Oh, crap, they are. Stop running, you coward. I need to kill you. Oh, this guy is terrible. Much better. My plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you. No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge across it, slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. Oh, an SMG is better then. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. I wonder if you can move stuff when you're in a stutter. Because, I mean, on the one hand, you can move, but on the other, wouldn't everything be like, you know, concrete hard, like stuck the way it is? Although, Jack Joyce can kind of end that time stuff for other people, so maybe it works for objects. Yeah, what do you know? He opened a door and someone wasn't there to shoot him. The first. Alright. I mean, that first episode, every freaking door you open just... Hello! Oh, great, there's people to shoot him. What's this? 
It's a train. You know, instead of climbing the bridge, why don't I just hide in the train till the stutter ends? I mean, like, there's a 50-50 shot. Actually, no. There's like a 33 to 30, 33 chance that they check it on that side. There's a 33% chance they check it on the other side. And there's a 33% chance they don't even check it because it just rolls on through. You'd, it could be either. I mean, that still gives me like a 66 to 67% chance of getting away scot free. The scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were. The heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. Man, I'm not the one you should be scared of, guy. Just be patient, folks. We're just making sure everybody's safe. Hmm. Interesting. But they think he's working with Jack Joyce. They haven't figured out that he's working with this Claren Claras the the woman who's narrating. I'm just gonna say Gee, that's where these monarch guards must be having the time of their life. Because, I mean, unlike police officers, they can actually go ahead and do selfies and stuff. I mean, I don't know if police officers can in America or whatever, but... I mean, even so, there's like a whole professional expectation of a police officer not to do stuff like that, but this is a company, so I think they've got a bit more free reign. Oh, not again. Really? You're gonna do that? I mean, I... Was someone in that? I mean, I get that you wanted to show up your shirt with that whole cliche thing of I'm gonna punch a car, but... Someone could've been in that, you could've killed a guy. And even if you, di and even if you didn't kill anyone in the vehicle, that could've hit someone before you knew. Jump, jump, jump. I wonder if this will work. Okay, that did nothing. Come on, come on. Oh, damn it. Worst time to reload. He's got to be close to dying now. Did I get him? Okay, got him. Okay, good. That's cool. Just got to make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. Now, how the hell are you going to justify bringing that in for one guy? Also, actually, how are they going to justify any of this? Let's see if there's anything else around that I've missed. some ammo at least. I don't think there's any narrative objects here. There's not many in this act. There's only like five. I'm not sure about intel or anything like that. Oh, that's where I go. Take that sign. You're not a cop. You're not trained to stop me. Ooh, that is a big climb. I would not feel comfortable doing that. Take out your gun, shoot the seagulls or pigeons. If if they're neither, then let them live. Oh, 
How do I? Oh, there we go. All right, that's it. I wonder if he can walk on water. Because, I mean, if time's not moving, then something like that wouldn't really be... Well, maybe it wouldn't be sinkable. Because, I mean, like, you know, you do see those things where, like, if something's fast enough, then it doesn't fall. Meant to happen? Is that meant to be there? Was that intentional? Is his leg damaged? Oh no. This is so bad. Why the fuck did that happen? I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground, and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Jeez, imagine if Max Caulfield had his powers. He'd get the best shots ever. <laughs> Because I mean, seriously, imagine how cool it'd be to get a fuzzle right now. What's that? Oh, cut it. Ooh! It's kind of creepy, the sound it makes. It's like a xenomorph. Okay, I have no fucking idea of how to get through this. Oh, there we go. Frozen crash was a mess. But somehow I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Is that a shot? That bullet? also slightly frustrating as I am getting these blue screen flashes. I don't know why. Ah, friggy frack, where am I meant to go? Can't go down there. There's something technically moving. What other powers do I have? Oh, right. There we go. I mean, to be realistic, climbing it did seem like a good option. Oh, what was that? No, no, it's not. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. Wasn't exactly user friendly. The question still remains how the fracture was getting much worse. 
timelines getting scrambled, caught in violent loops off sync, crashing into each other. This was what being a time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen. And no one would know. So the ship wasn't meant to crash into the bridge? Is this the same ship earlier? Or just been similar? Shit. A time boost will come in handy! The fracture was escalating. Objects were moving out of time. Out of order. Entire timelines overlapping. And it was gonna get worse. Unless we could stop it.